So I started Next Tech Systems in 1999. I was an electrical engineer for Rockwell International and had two young sons and wanted a more flexible schedule. So I decided to quit and you know what, let me try to do my own thing. So what started out to be a part-time job became Next Tech Systems and it just grew from there. We serve all of Southern California. We start at the Bakersfield in Kern County and we go to both borders, into Mexico border and we stop at Arizona and we serve all the areas in between. So we sell a wide variety of products. So it ranges from, you know, crosswalk safety to battery backup systems, signals, lighting. So the neat part about that is we're always able to provide them with a solution. Each of our manufacturers' opportunities come present to our customers. We invite them all here to our facility. We have our back warehouse set up like vendor show, so that way we can walk around with our customers, show them what we have, and things click with them when they sit down with us or walk around the room and they think of ideas of things that they could do. It is by far one of the best times to be in this industry because all of the technology is constantly changing almost every single year. Our specialty is helping get specifications written around our products. A lot of our products aren't the least expensive, but they are great quality products, and we feel that if we can get specifications written, then that helps the customer get what they desire. We tend to be very communicative. We tend to follow up profusely. We want to make sure that the customer is completely satisfied, and if they're not, we're going to fix it. That's what makes this unique. We work with our customers even if there's nothing that we can sell them because they've called us because they know that we'll at least point them in the right direction. California, even though people think we're ahead of things sometimes, sometimes not so much, a really big challenge that they face is an aging infrastructure. They would love to have all the money to be able to upgrade everything, but in most instances, they don't have that. A lot of cities don't have communication and they can't talk to their controllers and they can't remotely see what's going on and I saw a huge opportunity there. I think oftentimes the biggest challenge with technologies is the communication, being able to get that back. You know, the county of San Diego, they had no communication, they had dial-up modems everywhere. And so this was like the perfect agency to start using Applied Information's products. With Applied Information, it does bridge that gap. It provides us with that link that they can't hardwire in. San Diego, their intersections are hours apart. Now she can get on Glance, she can see what's going on. She has video detection at every intersection. She can do timing changes. Time is what has been given back to them that they didn't have before they have more time to take care of real issues instead of having to deploy out to the field and take care of things. They may have bought it for this one specific need, but it turns out there's many more uses that they weren't aware of. The neat thing about that is almost all of our products it's useful for. And so when we walk into them and say, yeah, you can plug that in and that and that, and it has so many options, but also it's on one platform. Applied Information has amazing online support, videos, technical information. They pick up the phone, they answer the emails right away. My number one thing that I look for in a manufacturer, and AI was one of those, is customer service. Customer service is number one, and I don't care what anybody says, you gotta provide great customer service. It is apparent how much hard work and talent they have at the company and how that all works together and we couldn't be more proud to be a part of Applied Information family. When I started my business, I ordered my business cards at Office Depot, picked up my cards, drove over to the city of Orange, and I made my first sale of solar powered pavement markers. My very first sales call, I made a sale, so it was pretty exciting. And now, you know, we've been doing this for, you know, 23 years. Working under Jana, she's really fostered a team environment, whether it's fostering relationships with our own staff or with our customers. It's the communication and relationships is what it all comes down to. I can see great potential for the future for NextTech with us growing. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing how we as a company can kind of spearhead 
through the safety of all these innovations. And I think having Jenna's leadership, helping all of us understand that hey, it's a win-win for everybody. If Next Tech is thriving, everybody's thriving. That's the key glue, is making sure we all mesh together and understanding that, hey, if we're working together, we're flowing, we're cohesive, then everything else is easy. We're not very big, we're only seven employees, but we're small and mighty.